Bitcoin was one rand in 2010 and today it is more than 500,000. So what you should do with this information, stick around and then I will give you more information. of more than a billion people so basically that is money around so China have a lot of companies or websites that are actually banned in their company in their country and I'm just gonna go through this list just to make you guys understand what banning things it's actually a Chinese thing it's not a new thing and trust me they're not gonna stop now so Google it's one of the of the companies or websites that are banned YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, just to name a few. These are big companies, by the way, or websites, but in China they are banned because in China they want to create their own things that are going to be used by their people and it can benefit them. Mind you, these are all American companies, and China does not have a good relationship with. America because they are all all both of them they are going for that spot of being the number one country in the world in terms of GDP in terms of power in terms of economy and whatever sense that you can think of they are basically going up head to head so you cannot expect them to support American companies and simply because they have that mindset of owning things because they want those stuff to benefit them and then you will expect them to also ban Bitcoin because it doesn't benefit them and also they cannot control it, they have no control, no one have control over it, no government in the world have, by the way. And also, in November 2021, cryptocurrencies, they say, hit a market cap of more than 3 trillion rand. So when I ask you a simple question, why would you want not to be involved in a market that has more than 3 trillion rands but otherwise it has gone down from where it was like I told you before markets go up and they go down but the fact that it had a potential to reach those highs of 3 trillion US dollars in market cap that should tell you about the potential of cryptocurrencies and also Bitcoin you know? very important information Companies that have a market cap of more than a trillion US dollars. I'm just going to quickly go through this just to tell you so you guys can understand what it, when we speak about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, what I was speaking with. Uh, it's April with 2.7 trillion US dollars. And then we have Microsoft with 2.4 trillion US dollars. Then we have Saudi Aramco. Saudi Aramco is a company from Saudi Arabia that is busy with oil in it. So, you know, it's an oil rich company. They have a lot of oil, good friends of the Americans because of that oil. They also sit in a two trillion US dollars. And we also have Alphabet. Alphabet is uh, just like an umbrella and there's actually some companies under, underneath it. So Google is also there. So Alphabet, you can just think of it as Google. So they sit in at 1.6 trillion US dollars. And lastly, we have Amazon, which is sitting at 1.2 trillion US dollars. Why am I giving you these companies? It's because Bitcoin, as it is, as I'm currently speaking with you, the last time I checked it, it was sitting at more than 1 trillion US dollars. So there is a lot of money in that space. So again, I'll ask yourself why you wouldn't want to participate in such a market. Then also moving on, guys, eh? uh, you must try and avoid betting against technology. At some point, emails and internet, they were saying it's not going to work or it's not going to make it. Please look at where the emails are today. Look at where the internet is today. Because of the internet, you are in Indonesia, you are in Algeria, you are in Europe or the US or Australia, you can be able to have access to this 
video that I'm currently recording and also have access to this information that I'm sharing all because of the internet so the internet guys is the wild wild west Bitcoin they call it internet money and as it is if you are paying attention we are not using so much of hardcore cash or our biggest transactions that we make it's not hardcore cash but what how are we using them digital and they call bitcoin also a digital currency or cryptocurrency they call them digital currencies yeah? so now i strongly believe at some point we are gonna move away from using the hardcore cash maybe it's not in our lifetime but i strongly believe there will be less reason for us to use hardcore cash how is the reserve bank or the central bank gonna make money i have no idea and i'm not interested then moving on uh i did touch on the emails and internet okay last but not least there is a retail company called pick and pay for people who are not in south africa but if you are in south africa definitely you know about the company it's one of the giants that we have in the country in february 2023 they released an information saying they will start accepting bitcoin as a form of payment in 1628 stores across the south african country i'm not sure how many how many stores we can pay have in total but that's the information that i came across when i was doing my research pick and pay it's not a spaza shop at your corner at your corner somewhere i mean so this is a serious retail giant in south africa so if they are making move to accept bitcoin when i am there you are sitting and still saying it's a scam then you should ask yourself who really is the scam because i don't think we can pay can just make that decision of accepting bitcoin knowing very well it's a scam i'm sure they did their research they have sent people to check thoroughly properly with what is happening here and the job never forget bitcoin have 21 million coins total supply and we have 8 billion people on earth that means not everyone can have bitcoin even if we wanted to unless it has to be divided into 0, 0.00 something then we can distribute it among the population i'm not even sure if it's possible so otherwise i'm not a mathematician so i'm not going to get into that you know? otherwise like i did tell you guys as part of our platform and part of s and l academy we have been uh, interested in putting the bitcoin and also cryptocurrencies you know where it out there and hopefully if you don't know anything about these things and you are new to these things and you would like to learn we are going to be your lucky so do expect us in the near future to just release videos that are giving you an update on, on how is the crypto market going how is it performing the prices you know and also news related to the cryptocurrency space you know? and one of the things i always tell people when it comes to bitcoin and cryptocurrencies i always tell them the japanese gave us sony the south koreans gave us samsung the chinese have given us Haval and some other stuff the americans have given us twitter google apple and so on and so forth and then in south africa if you look at the technology space we are not giving the world so much so we are not in a position to decide what happened to cryptocurrencies and bitcoin we can ban it in the country but you must understand the people who are leaders in tech and innovation they are going to decide what happened to cryptocurrencies and bitcoin yeah? and also do not expect government to like bitcoin or cryptocurrencies because they cannot have control of these things to them it's all about control because if they can control something then they can also determine as to how much money they can get out of it yeah? you will get people speaking about bitcoin not being environmentally friendly because it needs a lot of computer to be operating and also we have another part of miners where people mine bitcoin so basically they solve mathematical puzzle and then a new bitcoin is created 
they will tell you about that computing power that it's not environmentally friendly. When I'm not an environmentalist and I'm not going to argue with them. All I can tell you, I'm a South African currently living in Johannesburg. Please come to South Africa and see the environmental effect mining of gold and other mineral resources have made. And then you must start telling me about how bad Bitcoin is for the environment. And does that mean people who are mining gold must stop mining gold or diamonds or whatever minerals they are mining? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm just telling you, we cannot be biased. We have to be fair. We cannot say this thing is bad for the environment and then the other is not. So we have to be at equilibrium, find a balance. If something is bad for the environment, it's bad and that's it. Ne? We cannot choose which side we want to be on. That's all I can tell you. Ne? Otherwise, I hope I face you. The video was informative and we are looking forward to take you on this journey of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And we are not expect and uh, we are going to go and learn with you. Like I always tell you, our channel is for beginner investors. Our channel is for non-investors. We're trying to convert you to the new religion of being an investor. In it. Otherwise, do not forget to end, invest and spend. There's a reason why you have to invest before you spend your money. Please do drop us a comment. Just engage us and tell us what you think about the video. And also, you can give us a comment on giving some education on stuff that we might have left out that you feel it's important it's important for beginner investors in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency.